cannabis doesn't affect the brainstem. When you look at the CB1 receptors that are found throughout the body, the CB1 receptors are found are, are located throughout the brain, but there are no CB1 receptors in the brainstem, and that's what modulates our breathing drive, right? So when you take too many pain pills or too much heroin, it will um, interact with the brain stem and it will suppress your breathing drive, and that's how people die. They lose the the drive to breathe, and they you know end up um, going into respiratory arrest. Uh, whether it's with cannabis, there is no, there, there, there are no CB1 receptors on the brain stem. So cannabis does not cause, does not result in fatalities. That's why we still haven't seen our first death associated with cannabis yet. I mean, people have, you know, the prohibitionists will claim that there are hundreds of deaths associated with cannabis, but the fact is that none of those, if, if you look closely at the autopsy reports, you'll see that usually cannabis was combined with other much more um, addictive uh, toxic drugs and those were really the culprits not the cannabis so um, cannabis is still we, we still haven't found a lethal dose of cannabis yet we talk about in pharmacology the LD50 we still don't believe that cannabis has an LD50 that that can be documented so